Hello there YouTube. Uh, as you can see, I've already started the process of cutting my firewall. Uh, about, I don't know, quarter of the way through that. Fixing to make this cut down. That way I can take that section of material out and I can move my cab forward. Part of the engine is going to be inside the cab. I do have plans and material to build a doghouse similar to what's in the older 80s vans and some of the more late model vans and I'll have it set up similar to my door panels with a uh, quarter turn fasteners and rivets that way I can you know have quick quick access to my distributor and the aft intake bolts and a few other things that are located towards the back of the engine uh, I've also got my, my oil pump man return manifold made looking mighty nice there it's in pretty good position I'm not too worried about clearance issues with that uh, one thing I am having a little bit of trouble with is the uh, oil pressure in line which is right here those fittings are a little close to that uh, cross member than I want them to be probably gonna do a little more clearance and later on in life with that but for now it's where it's at I might even go as far as uh, raising the engine up a quarter inch I'll take and make a little spacer plate to go here between the motor mount and the uh, frame mounts on both sides and raise it up a little bit for me a little more space because I don't like the idea of that touching because the engine is uh, on rubber bushings and I don't want that uh, interfering with anything anyway once I get this cut out I'll get back to you all right so now that part of the cab the firewall is cut out it's time to start wiggling this uh, cab forward I'm going to bring out the fenders and the core support, get them all bolted on and shimmed out to where they're supposed to be and make sure I get the proper alignment with the front tires. And next step would be uh, mocking up cab mounts. Super excited about that. And help. Getting the engine in place was one of the key components of figuring out what I needed to cut out and clearance for this portion. On to the next step. <laughs> right now I've got the back of it shimmed up with a piece of 4x4 post, just a little bitty section and a piece of 2x2 two two square tubing. It ought to be fun trying to manipulate that to move forward without letting it fall back down on the uh, frame, but let's see if I can't get that done. We'll see about what happens next. Right, I'll be back in a few. All right, now I've got the fenders and core support on it. I uh, still have to cut a few more inches away from the floor pan. Right here and the same on the passenger side. That way I can move the cab forward a little bit further. As you can see right here, the tires are sitting really far forward in the fender wells. So about, about two more inches with the cab forward and uh, should be in position. Getting ready to cut out the factory cab mounts and get ready to put some of my own back in. Same story over here. It's actually a little bit closer, but no big deal. It's been very tedious moving those forward as I go along one inch at a time, two inches at a time, and hitting them with a hammer and moving them forward that way I don't uh, knock it off. Man, for me, this is a milestone in my project. Feels very good. Mm. Anyway, I'm fixing to get to it. I'm probably gonna have one more little short run on the, or one more short update, and then I'm gonna call it a day. And I know it's windy here. I apologize if there's wind noise. Anyway, I'm out. See you at the next update. Well, as the day comes to the close, I've got a lot accomplished today. Uh, the cab is about 75% aligned with where I want it to be. I still have to do a little bit of cutting, a little bit of clearancing, and get these, uh, get the cab situated to where the fenders line up here. About another half to three quarters of an inch forward and I'll be good 
Uh, one thing that I am going to have to do and I really didn't want to is I'm going to have to cut into the cowling area right here and uh, fold this piece, cut up to about right here, fold this piece back and then make a plate and then seal that up with silicone or whatever other adhesive maybe that I might have available. That way I can uh, clearance my air filter kind of uh stuck on using that guy for now anyway eventually wanted to go to one of those uh dual setups where i got two filters that way i could run that back to my turbos because i'm running twins not sure if i'm going to run intercoolers or not with the consideration that i'm mounting them in the back but all in all everything looks good at the moment I am going to cut some more of the floor pan out probably from here to back about right here, but that's another day and I'm going to do the same on that side and then build up from there. It's kind of neat having this uh, set up the way it is. Also got to cut that piece out and caught my head on this, try and pull some measurements for how much more I needed to cut from here and here. And that, that really didn't feel good. Drew blood on the top of my head. Oh well, it'll grow back. I have to clean that up real good, put a little peroxide on it when I get to the house. Or something, maybe not peroxide, because that's probably gonna bleach my hair and that'll look like, it'll look stupid. And another little side view. But yeah, my little project's coming along real nice. Uh, do have some rust in this floor pan. Got to clean up here in the next few days. Try to slow that down. It was like that when I first got the truck about seven years ago. Uh, previous owner let a heater core sit there and leak and leak and leak and didn't do anything about it. And now it's my problem. I do believe she's going to look nice when I get done. Anyway, I'm out. Y'all have a good evening or good morning, whichever it is at your time. Bye.